Good day, how's it going? Let's take a look at the real grade Strike Freedom from Gundam Seed Destiny. This model kit is from 2013 and it's the 14th entry in the real grade line. As always, we'll kick this video off with the build. The Strike Freedom comes together like most other real grades from the time. It has a pre-built inner frame with additional mechanical pieces and then armor to snap on. There's not much to say about the mobile suit built here, so the interesting part is the accessories. We have the wing unit which, for the love of all that is holy, please build it first. This is the most tedious yet rewarding part of the kit. You got 8 super dragoons to build, and the real difficulty is cleaning the nubs on the black pieces. Panel lining will make this guy really pop, and also crack. Don't apply too much panel liner on thin areas cause you're really dancing with danger. I cracked some of the dragoons and the barrel for one of the rifles snapped and had to be glued back on. So be careful and maybe do things properly here. I used grey for the white pieces which always looks nice on a real grade. The detail is top notch and the panel lines are really tasteful here, so it's worth bringing them out. I really like the stickers on this kit, they add a lot of nice character to it. Get yourself a pair of tweezers with a long thin end and push down the sticker with a toothpick or q-tip after applying it to get it down really nice and even. This is about as good as you can get it without trimming the sticker or just buying water slides. Once complete, this kit looks great, but for the sake of your sanity, get it on an action base. The weight of the backpack makes this a chore to stand on its own. I mean, I'm sure it's theoretically possible, but I ain't gonna keep trying for a million years. When up in the air, you can admire the nice details of this Gundam. The gold inner frame looks awesome peeking through the white armor. The red and blue accents really pop out, and I just love the design of the head and chest. The backpack can be positioned to your liking. You might struggle to get all the dragoons even, but when they're all sticking out it looks brilliant. You can open them to show the plated gold as well. Let's try to get them in full burst mode. Ow. So this is the part where I mentioned that my build was a little bit cursed. I managed to break one of the chrome gold pieces inside the Dragoons, and I had to glue it back together with crazy glue, and now it looks like I gotta do it again after this review, so full burst mode is not happening for me. Alright, personal crises aside, the backpack looks awesome when spread out, and it gives the mobile suit a lot of character. I love Gundam seed designs and these sort of crazy wing unit backpack things are my aesthetic I guess. For weapons, the Strike Freedom includes two beam rifles which look like water guns or something. I lost the red scope for one of the guns, and it never will be found. So we need to find the gun holding hands for this part. And, oh, I lost one. Alright, let's access the egg real grade parts cabinet for something to use in this video. Alright, good enough. So here we got some dual wielding action. You can combine them together if you want, but for some reason they aren't fit- Oh, it's because I put the barrels on the wrong way, and it's hard to remove, so... Here's a picture of what the combination looks like. Here's the flimsy real grade hand with just the index and three finger split, which we can use for the beam savers. I don't like these hands at all, and it's really a pain to make this kit hold the beam saver. If you want to make it harder to find somewhere to display this model, then you can attach the other beam saver to the end and do this. The beam saver also store oh, damn it. it also stores on the side, which is actually pretty nice. His certain scientific rail guns are slung on his hips, and they can be swung up on both sides for extra firepower. I don't personally like how this looks, but it's a nice feature that isn't too finicky. 
This will appeal to some people, so it's safe to say this kit has no shortage of poses and display options. Well, I guess this guy has no shield or nothing. Okay, well, let's move- what was that? Ow. It has one of those beam effect shield things. It's a clear piece that, guess what, you have to stick six stickers on. They don't fit on the edges and- just paint it. Let's just remove this red piece here and- oh, there go the wings. Oh, I dropped a piece. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm just kind of goofing around here. The Strike Freedom is a nice display piece. It starts to break down when you handle it too much though, so be careful. Otherwise you'll end up with like my Destiny RG, which is the second kit I ever made, and oh my god, I can't even touch it anymore. Real grades aren't really something to play around with. I don't like to mess with them, and they're kits that I just build, put on a cool pose on the action base, and leave it on the shelf. If you're interested in this kit, then I'd advise you to be aware of these issues and understand what you're getting into. To me, this is a nice kit, and it looks great. My build may have been a bit cursed, but oftentimes you have to adapt and think fast when you're making models. Things are gonna go wrong, parts will break, and joints will go loose, but there's always a solution. Gunpla is really fun and accessible to a lot of people, but it's not just a series of action figures that you build. I mean, these are model kits. You can make it as complicated or simple as you want. Something like the real grade Strike Freedom looks great if you just snap it, clean the nubs, panel line it, add the stickers, maybe some top coat, and boom, there's a nice display piece. But if you go the extra mile and paint it and everything, then it's really going to be something special. But you don't have to do that to have a nice looking kit, so it's really up to you what you want to do. As long as you're having fun, then the goal is achieved. I don't think a kit like this is for everybody, just because like I said, you can't mess around with this guy. The joints are going to go loose, and it's going to be like this destiny that I really mistreated. <laughs> but at the end of the day, this kit serves its purpose for me, and I really like how it looks. That's all I got to say in this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time. Forecast has been brought to you by Desjardins Travel Insurance.